fish. Oh, I see him, I see him. Oh, he jumped. Yes, get in there. Yeah, woohoo! This is what I am talking about. You can catch these big guys even on the Canadian side. Oh, what a thrill. What is up everybody? I am here. I am launching out of Port Colborne right now. And this is my, probably my last trip fishing open water. It's getting cold out. That's why I'm wearing this big, huge float suit. And so I'm going to try and catch some big water smallmouth bass. Uh, most people at this time of year in the fall go to the Buffalo side or the American side of Lake Erie. But today we're going to show you that we can catch giant bass right here in Canada. Let's get going. So we have made it to the spot. Something I've learned from fishing is that meeting new people Learning from them and sharing information will help grow the sport. So I'm not coming here completely blind. I've gotten a few waypoints from Simon Frost. Simon is one of the best smallmouth bass anglers on Lake Erie and he has taught me so much. He's given me a few waypoints as starting points and now I'm going to use my graphs to look around, see what I can find on these waypoints. So I'm currently using my Minn Kota to push along. I'm using tube jigs right now because there is not a single wave on this lake right now. It is not windy at all. That is very unlike Lake Erie, especially at this time of year. So I'm just putting on constant on. Ooh, there's a fish. Just mark the fish. I'm putting on constant on and just dragging my tube oh mark that that's for sure fish oh yeah i see that that's a definite one there's a bunch there I told you 28 to 31. fish constant off spot walk on no i lost it you've got to be kidding okay drop it back down ah fish constant off oh that sucks. Well, <laughs> lost two fish in a row. One on the drop shot rod and one on the tube rod. I didn't get to the drop shot rod on time, unfortunately. That's why I lost that one. And I lost this one because I was fidgeting with constant on and the electric motor. So I need to pay more attention and get better hook sets, apparently. Let's get going. This little stretch has been good. This little stretch, let's slow down and roll a little bit. Oh man, yo, I feel like the champion. Oh man, yo, I feel like the champion. Oh man, yo, I feel like the champion. This! Oh yeah, oh yeah, guys. I felt that one hit hard. Spot lock on. Get the net out. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. Oh, I see him. I see him. Oh, he jumped. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh, let's not let any slack. Come on. Oh, yes. Yes. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Yeah. Woohoo. First fish of the day. Let's go get my gloves off. Show them to the camera. Oh, they're going off. This is what I am talking about. You can catch these big guys even on the Canadian side. Oh, what a thrill. Look at this gut. These fish are eating up. Look at that belly. Eating up for winter. 
Oh, what a beautiful fish. Let's let this guy go. There he goes. Oh, that water is coldy. Let's go catch another one. Ooh, yeah. That is, oh my goodness, marking that. Quick little tip of that. Coach Paul taught me is sometimes the rod holders catch more fish than you do. Because I am on Lake Erie, I am technically allowed to be using two rods at once while fishing. So I decided that I put one rod in the rod holder and experiment using two different style baits. So right now I'm using a tube jig rod and the rod on the rod holder is uh, a drop shot. So this will just show me what the fish are eating and what the pattern is. So I'm experimenting, seeing what they want. Fly me to the moon, let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. All my life I've barely spoken. Your words have been so broken. I've been under your hip. Come on, fish, let's go. Typically right now, we need to be experimenting with different tube jig colors to see what the fish wanted. But unfortunately, my dumb self left them in the truck. So we can't experiment. Would you waste an hour and drive back to shore to get tube jigs? Or would you stay here and just fish it out? That's what I'm probably gonna do because I don't have that time. I don't have an hour to drive back and grab the tube jig. Tell me, are you women now? Ready to put it down? Start at the bottom, I already forgot them, but they won't forgive me now. You really ain't ready now. Oh, oh, yes. Suspended fish. Fish! This is a fighter, man, that's for sure. Still haven't seen it yet. Oh, it's going to the other side of the boat. Come on, stay up, stay up. Can't let him. Man, this feels big. Oh yeah, it's a nice fish. Bring him to the front now. Man, this fish has got energy. Come on, let's get in the net, let's get in the net. Come on. Oh, yeah, let's go. Second fish. Man, it's a nice one too. Did he ever have energy? I had to run to the back of the boat just to keep him away from the drop shot line that is still in, <laughs> in the water. Didn't want it to get into a big, huge, tangly mess. So I had to run to the back of the boat, run back to the front of the boat to get the net, and I got this guy. Another chunky monkey right here. Like I said before, I forgot my tube jigs in the truck. So I had to switch up to this VMC jig head. There we go. With a little rhythm wave on it. As soon as I switched, I got this guy. Let's get this guy back into the water. So, like I said before, I switched to this half ounce jig head and that's because I don't have different colored tubes, but I do have different colored rhythm waves that I can experiment with. And you know what? Hey, it seems to be working. It's just like a tube jig. It, it fishes on the bottom and bounces off the rocks at the bottom of the lake. Fish! Oh man, I felt that one hit. Oh yeah. Uh oh, I got a tangle. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Slack line, no. Oh. My real, oh, I got it, I'm done. Yes, that's easier now. Oh, he's feeling alive. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, uh, don't you just love it when they jump? You can see them right out of the water. Come on, 
Fish it. Let's go. Ready? Come on. Yes, 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 yes. No, no. Get in there. Get in there. Come on. Come on. Yes. Woohoo. Let's check constant on up. This is another nice smallie. Let's lift them in. Third smallie in the boat. Second smallie on the neon moon eye jig head. Let's go. Another chunky one. Getting ready for winter. Oh, this is what Lake Erie is about, guys. Oh, gotta love these smallies. Let's let this guy go. Oh, he's just barely hooked. Good thing I got that net on him. Man, he is long too. There we go. Okay, so that is two fish on the neon eye, one on the tube jig, missed a couple on the drop shot. I think I'm having a pretty good day so far. The cool thing about this jig head is it's something different. We usually use tube jigs or drop shots out here. This way, it's a different profile bait. It, it, the little rhythm wave tail looks like it's maybe swimming. So it's something new, something different. Maybe fish like it better, because they've never seen it before. And the cool thing is I'm fishing it because I had no other choice. So it's good to try new things. Maybe you'll find a new pattern. Okay guys, clock's ticking. Dad has work. I have a hockey practice tonight I have to get to. So we're trying one more spot before it is time to head in and go home. Not seeing as much structure over here as it did over there, unfortunately. Fish. Oh yeah, I felt that one hit. Motor, concert off. off. Oh, we weren't seeing a lot of structure here, but you know what? Sometimes the fish aren't where there's structure. There's where they are where there's sandy bottoms. Oh my, he, this guy feels like he's got a little bit of weight to him. Oh my! He's out far. He looks pretty big. He jumped way out there. When you're smally fishing, you never have too much line out. Oh, he feels heavy, man. Uh-oh, it's in my other line. Come on, come on, big guy. Let's go. In you go. There we go. We caught him in. What a fight he put up, man. Woo! Fourth fish of the day we got here. Another big smallie. What a fight. Oh, my arms are tired. Unfortunately, he got my other line tangled. So I'm going to have to release him and get that untangled right away because that's gonna be a disaster. There he goes. Yes. So that guy just tore this rhythm wave to shreds, so I'm going to grab a new one. The only tube jig I had was very dark, so we decided to use this lighter colored rhythm wave. So I'm gonna cut a little bit of the head off so that it fits onto this well. Voila, all ready to go. We got about 20 more minutes to fish. Hopefully I can catch one more fish before it's time to head home. I'm still keeping the tube jig out, even though I haven't really gotten a bite on it. But you know what? Fish might like one thing better than the other, so you always got to experiment with things. Is this good? I am literally fishing this bait just like a tube jig. Uh, I'm using the electric motor, like I said before, because there is no wind at all today and I'm just dragging it along the bottom of the rocks. And so far, it's working. It, it looks kind of like a little goby swimming through the water with the paddle tail moving along. Again, that 30 
foot water range. Fish! Yeah! Let's go! Constant on and off. He's out far because I have my line out real far. I don't know how big he is. Probably not going to be able to see him for a while because he's out. Oh! It looks like a nice one. He jumped right out. Come on, stay down. Stay in the water. I hate when they jump because for some reason my bait always pops out when they jump. Feels pretty big. Stay down. Always trying to jump again. Hate when they do that. Stop! Up you go. Net. Ready? No, stop. Stop. Don't jump. No! Come on. Get in here. Get in here. In the net you go. Come on. Ah, oh, it slipped out. Yes! Oh, the hook came out. Good thing I had him. He would have been. Out of here real quick. Five fish limit. Let's go. This was our last drift of the day because we have to get home soon. So I am so lucky I caught this guy. <laughs> and man, did he ever hit hard. Don't be afraid to try out new techniques. I was forced into trying out this new technique because I didn't have the gear with me. But you know what? It worked out for the better. Let's get this guy back into the water. There he goes. What a day. I had so much fun fishing for these big water smallmouth bass here in Canada. Just goes to show you can come fish here on the Canadian side of the lake and still catch these big football sized smallmouth bass. I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. Thank you so much, Simon, for all the help today. If you like this video, please click the like button. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please click the big red subscribe button. And always remember, take a kid fishing. They'll have fun.